Hey ladies, um, I hope you guys are doing great um, and making the most of these weird times. I know that technology for power school and everything has been a little weird lately, um, so just hang in there and do your best to know that everything's going to be okay. Um, we're all working together, we all got your back. And I invite you to join me in a um, little peaceful practice today where we'll be having some gentle movement. Um, it's a little bit shorter than yesterday, so this would be a great one maybe um, when you need a break from homework um, or a break from that Netflix show or a break from just whatever it is that you're doing um, to kind of clear out everything else and just give yourself a, a break. Okay, um, so go ahead and join me wherever you are today, whether it's your living room, your bedroom, um, using anything that's available, a yoga mat, a towel mat, or just the regular old floor will be perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to cue up our music for us. All right, and as always, we will start with some mindfulness. Finding a nice, comfortable seat. I am sitting on my meditation cushion again, but as always, you could grab a blanket over there that I'm looking at. You guys could grab a blanket, a towel, or just sort of sit on whatever surface you're on. Let's just take a moment to make this transfer, make this um, transition, this intentional transition to our yoga mats today. So, leaving whatever we were just doing, whether it's leaving it mentally, leaving it physically, and arriving here in this place together. And if you feel comfortable, maybe placing the hands down on the knees, palms facing down. Roll the shoulders up by your ears and press them down. A big inhale in, roll those shoulders up. And this time, as we press them down, exhale out loud. So. I know in class together, we sometimes don't always feel comfortable hearing our breath out loud, but that's the beauty of this practice is no one else is around you, baby, right now, right? So we can breathe fully, be weird, do it all, no one's watching, no judgment. So let's try that again three more times. So we'll inhale through the nose as we bring the shoulders up towards the ears. Exhale, sigh out the mouth. Inhale up towards the ears. Exhale, sigh out the mouth. And one more time. Inhale up. Exhale, press it down. And just settle here. Taking some inventory. How we're feeling today physically. Any aches, tensions, sensations that we're carrying. Checking in with how we're feeling mentally and emotionally. Any emotional or mental stress, burdens, worries. Let it all just be here. It's all okay. No need to push it out. Just simply becoming an observer of this experience, a witness of this experience. Feeling yourself becoming more and more centered, more and more grounded down as the world continues to evolve around us, knowing we can find a place, a sacred space, a sacred moment in time where we can just be here, and be present, center ourselves. Let's begin to place one hand over the heart and one hand over the belly. And practice our full breathing, full belly breathing. 
So we'll inhale, really push the air into the belly, fill that bottom hip rise, fill that chest hand rise. Full belly breath, hold it. And then exhale, pour it out, empty it all out. Feel the breath deflate, the body to contract. Inhale again, feeling your hands rise with the breath. Spreading oxygen all over the body, holding at the top. And then exhale, feel the hands subtly fall. One more round just like this. Inhale, breathing fully. Exhale, empty it out. Good, and then bringing the hands together at the heart, palms face each other, pressed together. You can feel free to keep the eyes open or a shut. And you're more than welcome to just sort of create a sort of intention or a wish or wanting for this time. So it could be that what we hope to get out of this practice. Maybe we hope to go back to the rest of our day feeling a little bit calmer, a little bit more like we've got this. Or maybe we are here to kind of escape all that. Maybe we're just here to just shut it out for a moment. No matter what, no judgment. But see if you can bring to mind something that you intend to get out of this practice that you'd like to leave on your mat or gain from the mat. Good, and inhale. Exhale, hands release back down to the knees as we'll begin to do a few circles with the upper body. So begin to bring the body over to the right and to the front. Over to the left and back and around. Inhale up to the front, around. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Taking these circles as slow or as quickly as you'd like. You can keep the same pace I'm moving in or you can slow it down, speed it up, whatever you'd like. And then once we return to the front, we'll go ahead and take this on the opposite side. So inhale, exhale as you come around. Maybe we take it a tiny bit quicker in these last few rounds. And one more rotation. Now as you come to the front, begin to line up that head over heart, heart over hips, and just notice the stillness. So we'll begin to inhale, sweep the arms up overhead, gaze rises. Exhale, bring the hands together as you bring the hands down to the heart. Inhale, hands rise, gaze rises. Exhale, bring it back to the heart. One more time, inhale up. Exhale, back down through the body, and this time placing the right hand to the side for a side body stretch. So inhale as you bring the left arm up, and then begin to tiptoe those hands, walking them out as far away from you as you'd like, creating more space here. And then maybe even turning the heart and the armpit up towards the ceiling, really creating open expansion in the side body and in the front of the body. Breathing here. Gaze can be up at this top arm or at the bottom one, whatever feels most comfortable on the neck. Good, we inhale through the center, 
As you exhale, place the left hand down now and same thing on the other side. So raise that arm up and over. You can feel free to walk these fingertips out as far as you'd like. And breathe into the body. Turn that chest and armpit up towards, rotating towards the ceiling as this top arm continues to extend up and over. placing both hands down beside you. Good, we'll begin to come into a tabletop position, all fours. So finding your way there, you're gonna remove that meditation pillow. And in child or uh, tabletop, you know that we want our hands directly in line with our shoulders and our knees directly in line with our hips. So we're finding tabletop position, a neutral spine, Good. And from here, we inhale this tabletop. As we exhale, send the hips towards the heels, child's pose. Inhale back up to tabletop. And then exhale, tucking the toes underneath, lifting the hips up and back for a gentle downward facing dog, keeping a big bend in the knees. Inhale back to tabletop. And then exhale straight back down to child's pose. Good. From here, inhale, rise the arms up. Sitting straight up on the knees, gaze rises. Exhale, straight down to child's pose, forehead meets the mat. Inhale, the tabletop. So finding this gentle flow, very simple movements, creating peace in the body. Inhale, the tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Gentle down dog here. Inhale down to tabletop. Exhale, heels to hips. Inhale, rise the arms up all the way. Exhale, placing the hands back down on the mat, finding child's pose. Inhale, tabletop position. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, tuck those toes under downward facing dog with the hips up and back, gentle bend in the knees. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, lift up on the knees to raise the arms up and overhead. Exhale, right back down to child's pose. One more round, inhale to tabletop. Exhale, child's. Inhale to table. Exhale, downward facing dog with those heels up. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, child's. Forehead to mat. Inhale, raise those arms straight up and over. Good, and then exhale, come on down to child or to tabletop, all fours. So getting readjusted here. Maybe glancing down at um, our alignment, checking in that everything's still aligned. I notice my hair is getting in my way. Maybe yours is too. Feel free to adjust. So we're in our tabletop here. We're gonna thread the needle. So taking our left hand to the center of the mat, right arm lifts up all the way, opening to the side. Exhale, take the back of the hand, slide it all the way through, down to the mat. Shoulder meets the mat. Staying right where you are, just guiding you through. Notice where that left hand wants to go. Does it wanna walk forward up the mat? Does it want to stay right where it is as a kickstand, or does it maybe even want to wrap around the lower back? 
Listen to your body. Good. Slowly start to release that left arm. Placing the left hand back down onto the mat directly under the shoulder. As we lift that right arm back up, reaching up and leave it where it is. So from here, kick the right leg back behind you first, just finding the mat. Glance down and make sure that that shoulder is still in line with that wrist. We're gonna take a variation of half moon pose. So from here now, just simply lift the back right toes. The right leg is totally lifted. You can't see it very well from yours because I have it totally in line with my hip, okay? So our body is squared open to the side, chest is open, hips are open. Gaze can go up at that top hand or down at the floor. And breathe here, half moon. This is a balancing pose, so if you notice that you're wobbly, that's normal. If you notice that you fall out of it, smile and get right back up. It's all right. Inhale. Exhale. Begin to tuck those right toes back down on the mat. Right hand meets the mat. Tuck those left toes under, coming up into plank. Notice if the... Belly um, is pulling in towards the back, towards the spine, lifting the navel up and off that shirt. Gaze is out a few feet in front of you. We're really pressing the earth away from us here. So we're pressing the earth away to lift the body up. See if you can release any tension in the neck. And then, of course, above all else, continue breathing, continue finding that pranayama, that life force. Another inhale, exhale, dropping the knees and slowly lowering the full body down to the mat. From here, forehead meets the mat. As you shoot your arms right, behind, right by your sides, palms facing in towards your legs, zip those heels together, zip those legs together, and we will lift up. So lifting up from the thighs, the knees, the legs, keeping them zipped together. As we lift up through the chest, chest opens, gaze is out a few feet in front of you, a variation of a bow pose here. Feel the shoulder blades move down the back so the shoulders are out of your ears. Think about squeezing everything together. Inhale. Exhale. Another inhale. Exhale, release. Dropping the forehead back down to the mat. Maybe rolling it on the mat side to side. And then taking the palms outside of the chest, right underneath the armpits, pressing ourselves back up into tabletop or all fours. Okay, we're going to take that on the other side. So starting with threading the needle. So first finding our tabletop. You all know the trick I showed you where you can take your two fists together and place them between the knees. That's a, a good little um, way to check in with our alignment. So from here, let's take the right palm to the center of the mat. The left arm opens up to the side, really, really opening here. And then exhale, take the back of the palm, slide it underneath the body until that left arm follows suit. Right arm, right hand is right underneath the elbow, provided like a kickstand for stabilization. And notice where that right arm wants to go. What does it want to do? Does it want to stay right where it is? Does it want to walk out further along down the mat? Does it want to reach up? Does it want to create a bind or a wrap? Notice what your body wants and provide it with that. Good. 
Full body breaths here. Hear your inhales, hear your exhales. Feel your breath moving from the front and the back of the body. So the chest rises and falls. Another inhale here. And then we press, walk that right arm back underneath us if it had moved. We press down to the right hand to lift the body up, raising the left arm up. And again, keeping it right where it is. From here, we just simply kick the left leg back. Squaring our body, our shoulders are in line with one another. Our hips are all pointing the same direction. So our body's in a straight line, kind of like if you were in a toaster, right? You have to stay in this little narrow, right? So that's it. we're there. From here, keep that left arm lifted, and then begin to lift those left back toes for half moon variation. Again, you can always glance down at the hand, or you can glance up. Wherever you are, breathe so that one side is always different from the other. more breaths. One of these days I'll have to work on like super fancy camera angles where I like have multiple cameras in different directions so y'all can see all the poses fully. In the meantime, do your best to just hear my guidance and then also tuning into your own body, right? So sometimes it's good to not be able to see what the teacher is always doing because it makes you focus on what you're doing, what your body looks like and how it feels in your body. Another inhale. Exhale, begin to tuck those back toes underneath. Left arm comes down, tuck the right toes back. We're in our plank pose. Inhale. And exhale, gentle down. We're facing dogs, so bending the knees, maybe pedaling out the knees. Gaze goes through those legs. Shoulder blades long down the back. Shake the head, yes. Shake the head no. Let all of your current stress, all of your current worries just roll off the shoulders, roll off the back of the neck, see it rolling off, releasing itself from you. Good. And then we'll just begin to walk our way up to the top of our mats. Coming all the way down to a seated position. Good. So from this point, we'll stay on our mats. Um, so from here, go ahead and begin to extend both legs out long in front of you. Um, if you would like, you can place a blanket underneath. In fact, I'm going to reach for mine. Um, you don't have to have one of these, you know, yoga blankets. It can be any. It can be a towel. It could be anything, and you don't have to do it at all. It's just an option. Um, so it just kind of helps give you a little bit more support in, um, in all these pieces. All right. So let's go ahead and first take the right sole of the foot and plant it down on the mat. Then we're going to begin to cross it over the left side. Okay, so we're sitting up really tall. Let's take our right arm and hug it around the uh, right leg. Walk the left arm back and opening up the chest here. Big deep breaths here. Good. And turning the other way. So now taking the left arm, hugging it around the front of this right knee. Right arm reaches back behind you. You might notice this is a deeper twist here. So spine is really tall. We're wringing out all of those stressors, all those due, due dates, deadlines, 
all that kind of stuff, family things, whatever might be going on for you. Just see it ring all the way out. Allow the head to turn towards the back. Good, and then slowly start to unwind. We're going to stack this right knee on top of the left. So if you guys have taken yin with me, you know that this pose is about to look a lot like what we've done before, which is just shoelace. So this is half shoelace. You're more than welcome to keep your left leg straight underneath you. Or you can begin to cross it underneath. So we have both knees stacked for full shoelace. If this just doesn't feel accessible in the hips today, that's cool. It's okay. We've all been um, probably cooped up a lot, a lot of sitting, right? Um, so that's okay. Know that you can stay right here, okay? So from here, just breathing in this shoelace pose, breathing into the hips for a moment. Allow those muscles to relax as you feel the stretch the stress in the hip flexors. Breathe here for just a moment. And then taking the arms out, open up to a T, crossing the left arm over the right. So elbows stack, and we are literally giving ourselves a big old hug. It also helps, it's also a good stretch too. So wrapping the fingertips around the back, wherever is available. Maybe tucking the chin towards the chest. And finding for just one moment a sense of appreciation or gratitude for yourself, for all that's on your plate right now, all that you're trying to juggle. Just for one second, appreciate all that you've accomplished, all that you're doing, all that you're trying. Just extending yourself a moment of self-love, gratitude, appreciation. Good, and then from here, keeping those elbows stacked and glued together as they are, just begin to um, bring the palms together, either the backs of the palms, or if you want to go for a full twist, bringing the inside of the palms together, okay? Um, and you're pretty much going to be covering your face. So if you're down here, just go ahead and bring it up a little bit. These are eagle arms. Breathe here. And then begin to inhale as you lift the arms, elbows, head up some. Exhale, lower down, bringing the elbows to the knees. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, lowering down. Elbows to knees. Inhale, rise it up. Exhale, lower. From here, Stay folded over, and then just simply unwind the elbows, releasing the arms, folding over the body. Let that neck be really heavy. Just surrendering here for just a moment. Inhale slowly, walk your fingertips up towards the body, pressing yourself away from the mat. And then we'll just slowly unwind the legs, if you, extending them out, giving them a nice shake as we set up for the opposite side. So this time, bringing your left sole of the foot to the mat, and then now crossing it over. And then left arm hugs the outside of this knee. First, just opening up to the right side. Chest opens, big opening uh, stretch here in the chest. Inhale. 
Inhale. Exhale. Unwind. Counter pose the other way. So right arm sweeps around the front of the shin. This one is going to give you a little bit deeper twist in the spine. Left hand comes behind you. Opening up, twisting everything out. Inhale, full belly breathing. Feel the belly expand. Exhale, feel the belly contract. One more inhale. Exhale, turning the chin forward and unwinding. Good, and this time we're stacking the left knee on top of the right. As I told you guys, if you've watched before, I'm still struggling with this little stress fracture baby. So um, I'm gonna move her much more forward than I normally would so she doesn't make contact with the floor. Um, you listen to your body as I'm listening to mine. You can also, you know, bring it, bring the heel close to the hip. Okay, I'm just taking a little modification. So staying in half shoelace or full shoelace. Inhale, lifting up tall. Align the head over the heart. Good. And this time, bring the arms to a T. And now right arm over the left. Elbows hug together as we wrap the fingertips, the arms, the hands, all the way to the back of the body. Literally giving ourselves a hug. And knowing that whatever this time, this season, is bringing up for you is okay. So you might have a friend or um, a parent or somebody who is, you know, maybe loving this. Maybe you're, and you're like, what, how is everybody loving this? Like, this sucks. I hate, I hate everything, right? It's okay. It's okay. No one... There's no rule book for this. There's no guidebook for how to handle these times, okay? And what's so important is you acknowledging your emotions, letting yourself feel them, right? If we don't let ourselves feel them, then we can't heal, we can't grow. Go ahead and bring the hands, the backs of the hands together or both palms together. Notice what how each side is different. This side is a little bit more difficult for me. We bring the hands over the face. Inhale to lift up the elbows and then exhale to lower down to the knees. Inhale, rise it all the way up. Exhale, hold. Letting your breath guide you. Maybe your breath is a little bit slower or a little bit quicker. That's okay. Move with your breath. Inhale, lifts you up. Exhale, lowers you down. One more. Inhale. Exhale, hold. Her. Holding at the bottom. And just unwrapping, unwinding those elbows, stretching the fingertips out long in front of you. Allow yourself to fold all the way through your neck, fully drapes over, loosens, softens. Inhale, slowly peel yourself up, walking your way, so you're walking your way up off of your mat, and then lean back so to unwind the legs, send them long, shake them out a little bit, and then let's take a wide-legged forward fold. So you can stay facing front. I'm just gonna stay facing the side to I'm long as I'm on mat, and I'm 
Go ahead and just walk the arms out as far as you'd like to take them. So keeping this feet flexed, and we'll just so slowly walk our way forward folding here, releasing over, releasing the neck. Let that chin come all the way towards the chest. Feel the ponytail release. Inhale, slowly start to peel yourself up. Walking your hands closer to the body. And from here, we're going to start to just make our way all the way lying down on our mats, okay? So start to lay all the way down on your mat. Extending the legs out long. Relaxing fully. And then maybe even drawing the knees in towards the chest. Giving yourself a rock side to side. You deserve it. And then whenever you're ready, start making your way into Shavasana, into our final pose of the day. So at this point, I'm going to be just guiding you through it so you guys can hear me. Um, so go ahead and start lying all the way down on your backs, extending the legs out long. Arms can just lay out to the sides of your body. Maybe they cross over the stomach, whatever feels best for you. Perhaps you grab a prop or something to sort of assist you to further relax in this pose. So maybe you place something underneath your head for a pillow. Maybe take a blanket and drape it over your body for warmth. Whatever you like. And just start to allow the feet be fully heavy. To release tension from the toes, ankles, the calves. Releasing the tension from the thighs, the stomach. Continuing up to the upper body some tension from the shoulders, let the shoulders just melt down, be fully supported by the ground underneath you. Soften all the muscles in the arms, letting the arm muscles hang heavy. Releasing any tension from the fingers, the hands, the wrists. Allowing the crown of the head to just rest on the mat. The eyes soften if they haven't already. Allow the forehead muscles to soften. Releasing the jaw, releasing any tension held there.
Brown, Martha Malcolm, Mitzvah, Main, and Shavasana, however long you'd like. I hope this practice has brought you a little bit more peace to your day. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And I'm thinking of every single one of you. I love you all. I miss you all. I hope to see you soon. The love and light in me honors and sees the love and light in each and every one of you. Namaste. Bye, ladies.